welcome to Something's Cooking with Alpa and today we are going to make Rava Pizza. That's right, you heard it correct, Rava Pizza. Now this is very easy to make and it is very very delicious. If you don't have a base, this is a perfect alternative. So let's make your kitchen your family's favorite restaurant by making Rava Pizza and if you do like my recipe, Please do subscribe and click on that bell icon so that you get notified for my all my future recipes. So guys for this recipe you're going to need half cup of suji or rava or semolina, one tablespoon of maida which is all purpose flour, one tablespoon of rice flour which is chawal ka atta, little less than half a cup of curd, pinch of baking soda, one four teaspoon of garlic, some cheese cubes, I'm using amul cheese cubes. 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper powder, half teaspoon of Italian mixed herbs and half teaspoon of chili flakes, 1 to 2 tablespoon of tomato ketchup or tomato sauce, oil, salt and your choice of toppings. So that is about it and now let's begin our process. In a large mixing bowl in which I already have the rava, I'm going to add the rice flour which is chawal ka atta followed by the all purpose flour which is maida and then the curd, some salt and mix it all in. The rice flour and the all purpose flour will help to make the base of the pizza much more crisp. If you want it even more firm then just double the quantities. Then I'm going to add some water, say about 1 4th cup and mix until I get a smooth thick batter which is still at pouring consistency. Now I'm just going to cover it up and keep it aside for the next 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes the rava has soaked up the water and is still at pouring consistency. If your rava is too thick and is not at a pouring consistency then just add a little bit more water. Now to this I'm going to add half of the garlic and all of the baking soda and mix it vigorously. Then in a pan I'm going to add some oil and spread it so that it coats the surface of the pan. And now I am going to add two big ladle full of this batter and using the back of my ladle I'm going to give it a round shape and then let's cover it up and cook it for the next two to three minutes. After two to three minutes or once the bottom is golden brown in color let's flip and add some tomato sauce or tomato ketchup on it. You can even add shazwan sauce if you like and then spread it evenly. Now guys I'm going to add a generous amount of cheese on top over here and then add my toppings. So first I'm adding the boiled corn followed by the onion slices then the green capsicum and then the red bell pepper or red capsicum and then the olives. I'm also going to sprinkle some garlic followed by a pinch of black pepper powder which is Kali Mirch powder, a pinch of mixed Italian herbs and a pinch of chili flakes. Then add a little more cheese on top. And now I'm going to cover it up and cook for the next 2 to 3 minutes or until the cheese melts. Make sure guys that the flame is on low. After 2 to 3 minutes our pizza is ready. So I'm going to take it out in a plate and using a pizza cutter cut it in four equal sizes. So you saw guys how easy it is to make this rava pizza 
do make it when your kids demand for pizza give them a new variety this is definitely way more healthier version and guys you can add any toppings that you wish and i hope you enjoyed spending time with me and do click on the subscribe button right here and if you like this recipe you're definitely going to like this one as well as this one also if you want to look at the pizza sauce or how to make the actual pizza i already have the recipe on my channel so do check it out and meanwhile take care bye bye